Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. Things are slowly getting back to normal now in the eastern end of the valley, where we find the hooligans working away at their dig site hoping to find that Star League cache. They've recently come into some information though that one of their rivals in the valley is about to take possession of a whole new lance of mechs. So in order to keep the scales tipped in our favor, we're going to head over there and, and take out that lance before they take possession. Alright, so this is a three skull ambush convoy mission. And the ambush convoy is, we're supposed to be ambushing a group of mechs. So it looks like this is what these guys are here. That looks like an Orion on the side. This is a Phoenix Hawk. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Firestarter, so Phoenix Hawk, your Orion, and a Fire Bee. Okay. And they've got to have guards. I wonder if they have got more escorts than just one yep. group. I guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, let's just move in and gaze straight on. We have everybody here. We got nine units, so hopefully that should be enough. Wow. Let's take a shot at this guy. You never know. Negative damage. This guy's moonwalking. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get you into position. Over here. Let's move. Get the ER laser going. This guy's not moved yet. This guy's not moved yet either. We'll hold off on the chap till we need it. We have a better chance to hit, that is. Ooh, we got someone else back here. Looks like it might be a vehicle. Yep. No idea what it is yet. Yeah. Let's get in the trees. Confirmed. I just finished a two and a half skull 2v2 match where we uh, fought a hellspawn and a um, hellspawn and a grasshopper. That match ended in three turns. Well, that's not true. The first turn, nothing happened. You. And that was three turns of fighting. Yeah, like like literally nothing happened on no the first turn. We moved up behind a rock so they couldn't see us. I wanted to force that. I wanted to force one of them out in the open because one of them was lobbing mi six uh, um, missiles. Um, Commander. So it had a pirate ATM. So just lobbing six missiles. So I wanted to force them out into the open, and the grasshopper took the we'll bait. Go. So we opened up on it with an MRM-30 and, and the Rack-5 and knocked his ass down. Oh, sorry, we put him into uh, instability, beat him on initiative the next turn, then knocked his Receiving. ass down. All right, let's get you into strike position. Got it. No shooting. Just then the hell spawn came over the uh, crest of the hill, hit the um, Thunderbolt. The um, aye, aye. Phoenix went behind the... <laughs> The hell spawn and plastered it from behind. Let's get you up along here. No shooting, just running. Got it. Yeah, then we beat the hell spawn initiative, killed him, and then we killed the Orion or the uh, grasshopper and it was over. It was pretty quick, I gotta say. Yes, Commander. Didn't get much in the way of salvage out of it though. I mean, I just murdered them, right? After the hell spawn did a number on my torso, I was like, all right, well, I don't really feel like losing anything in this fight. So I wrecked them. We did pick up, I did pick up clan uh, sensors. Um, what are they called? Clan recon sensors, which act as like a low level ECM um, or low level IFF. It's got bonus sensors. Um, plus 10% to uh, sight and sensors. It was not bad. And then I picked up a gunnery support B, which I don't normally see. So that was a nice get. That was a nice grab. I dropped that into the Phoenix. So are you... What are you doing? Doing a jig there. Doing a bit of a jig. Okay, I'm hearing one other vehicle back there. So that's an AC2 carrier, I think. Unless I get one of those again. Oh, that's got two mits of Bulldog. That's kind of nice. I want the Orion parts though. Um, Alright, let's get you here. Coordinates received. Because you're the last person to go. We got Airburst, Flare, Standard, Inferno. 
I'll just go standard first. I'm gonna drop it on the vehicle here. We'll hit a bunch of stuff Fire back there, but. Salvo. Hopefully, I'm hitting the back of those guys. Alright, um. Order. Overheat in the cyclone. We gotta get close to be effective, so let's reserve. Waiting for the right move. Let's let these guys move up a little bit. Oh, we got a locust here. So, that's a fire starter with a LRM. Oh, it's an OC. Pair of long fires. Oh, that's interesting. Orders. Um. I don't know why I don't see that galleon as a threat. At this level, that guy's a murder bot, man. Okay, so the locust could actually be what do you need? one of the main lance units. Because the main lance units usually just stay on target, like they stay on the pathway. I want to get you up here. I don't know what's what here. Um, leave it at three. Let's just take a shot and switch these to LRM. Marginally better. Firing. Okay, tag's on. Did it help out a little bit? There's the Orion. Yeah, what is it with this hunter? You got to retreat, man. The battle's over already. Not your turn. Yes, Commander. That's tricky. Um, let's get in the trees. I copy. Try to get into melee range here. Um, I don't have anything but acid, so we'll just fire that. That's all right. Ow! Stop shooting me! Doing minor damage. Yeah. Probably got a pair of SRM2s as backups. Um, yeah, we're going to move over here. It's weird not having speed and not having like a lot of ranged weapons. This unit is like kind of a mixed bag right now. Uh, let's switch this to cluster. Leave this off though. I have a feeling he'll be running away this turn if we don't kill him. Scored a critical hit. Look at you, gunslinger. Just gonna fire that large, huh? Just gonna fire the large. Aye, aye. I'm a spaniel. I really should uh, change this this uh, pilot to a to that guy that uh, that says that. Firing a full salvo. Changing genders is Ready for not orders. unheard of. Um, how are you doing here? Uh, still not too, too bad. 40 on the back, huh? Let's move behind the rock, make it a little harder. I mean, not much harder, but a little harder for them to see us. Wow, really? You got a wide variety of stuff here. Let's go with some chaff, but let's see what else we can hit with it. Orion, probably? I mean, we're not going to hit, we don't think, but... Eh. That's a miss. Thank you. Thank you for the report. What's this guy? AC-20 carrier. Ooh. Um, good thing we're spying that now. Double time. Let's go. Hopefully we can get the drop on him next turn. Um, yeah, leave the rockets off. So we got improved and incendiary. Let's just go with improved. Might as well leave the chaff on. Well, you're not you're not getting a shot off this turn, I don't think. You're running. Critical hit, commander. You're running. Just look at his. You still have his, initi his, his initiative, though.
Fire B. Somebody's got some, uh... Some Hydra ammo. That'd be nice to grab. Ready for orders. I want to try a mech with, um... Hydra ammo and thunder ammo. Let's move. I know Hydra's like it doesn't have the same range as regular other LRM ammo. Um, yeah, you just got EMP. It's fine. Fire it off. Go. Well, your torso list Pick now. Some heavy damage. Ready for orders. Sans torso. Hey. Oh. Somehow clicked on the guy there. Uh, do we finish this guy off? Probably, eh? Uh, no, I think we go on this guy. What do we have here? Inferno, Airburst, Flare. Flare, and then Inferno for the rest. So he's got... Uh, pretty chunky armor. I copy. Clear for the increased chance to hit Inferno because if he's sitting in fire, he'll take damage before he moves out next turn. Okay, let's get down to there. Let's move. Kind of in good ambush position here, and let's just finish this guy up. Pilot incapacitated? What do you need? Mech incapacitated. Now I wonder if we can get a shot. That's yeah, just pushing our luck. I was going to say we could rush that AC carrier. Try and smoke him before he gets a chance to do anything. But he's going to get a shot off this turn. Let's give him... He's probably going to go after this guy. I might not. Throw the barrage in there too. Okay, I'm on it. I thought about swapping out the four medium lasers for two heavy vehicle flamers and a couple tons of ammo. But those heavy flamers, they do. I know they do 20 damage and 20 heat, but they also use two shots per per shot. So the flamer ammo. Ooh has 16 shots per ton so it would really be only 8 shots per ton I got one AOE, one AOE and one sticky so we'd have a total of 8 Awaiting shots with each it. flamer so I don't know I was kind of, kind of against that let's not get you into AC 20 range let's just get into here we'll so the these two guys are part of the convoy I think probably the fire bee is yeah these guys and the and the locust probably was. Firing all weapons. No, it's not. I could just do this and be smart about it. So the fire bee is. Who else is then? He doesn't bug us. He too much. Do they think they can hurt me? Oh, they can. Receiving you. They can, and it, you'd be foolish to think they couldn't. Moving out. All right, let's get on this guy. <sighs> the targeting. Our pilots are okay. Most of our pilots have six gunnery, so they're okay pilots. It's just Ready for order. all of the other stuffs. Um, I wish I could get a shot at that AC-20 carrier. Could have reserved, but we're just gonna wait. Wait till next turn. Why? Stop shooting me. He's gotta run. Good to go. Death for vehicles is very real now, so get up here. Moving to position. It's been happening in a lot of my matches. The vehicles that have that have uh, gone down have, have died quite a bit. So, um, let's front end load this. Want this fire starter gone this turn? I think. I'm out 
short range missiles. Are you? Just use your MRMs then. Ooh, that's a head, sir. Yep. Understood. Let's hope that AC carrier sees this guy. Um. Now let's hold off. Yeah, we don't need to go all out just yet. Well, most likely jam, but I want to make sure that a we see that AC carrier first, so I can at least standing by. know that I can shoot that guy. Should I need to? Let's get in the trees. And this will be on the AC-20 carrier. Um, chaff? He's already sitting. Let's use chaff. Hopefully it'll help negate his chance to hit. All we need to do is land one or two. There we go. One of them. Oh, he's backing up. That's it, you bastard. You run. What's up, boss? I should get multi target. Nope. Nope. Um. Let's switch to standard and flare on this guy. Hopefully this, I, I think we're far enough away once to go over onto us. Got this guy though. That hit something good. Excellent. You don't look so good, buddy. What's up? Well, at least it was low damage. At least it was low damage. This guy's just going to keep pushing through us. Which is why I want to just smoke the, the guys we got to kill first, if I can. Alright, you're finally engaging, but you're still engaging the hunter, really. Reporting minimal damage. What is it with mechs yeah. targeting vehicles like that? Now I wish I had the flamers. Now I wish I had some flamers. That'll put me way over. No, it won't. Yeah, we run pretty cool. Like, I'm on these mechs, most of these mechs anyway, I've been trying to make it so they run really cool. Uh, let's go this route. Coster's got a bit... Well, how much is the slug? 60? 77. Let's go this route. Technology. Okay, that'll slow him down. Here comes this ass. Oh, he's not shooting. Aye, aye. Gonna go on Heading this guy. Out. Don't miss. Taking shots. Of course you missed. Target's taking a critical hit. <sighs> That's my bad though. No one to blame but myself for that. Yes, Commander. And I fully acknowledge it. On my way. Okay, you don't miss. So, all right, we don't have clan weaponry. Let's just go with the medium lasers for now. All right, two nice hits. Reporting critical hit. Standing by. Not quite enough. Can we get... Yeah, we can sneak up here, though. Let's put ourselves in here. Strike position. Nothing. I find the enemy mechs have been doing a better job managing heat 
but I still find they some of them will overheat themselves but I think usually it's like in an emergency situation where they've got like no choice and it's like ah shit I gotta shoot something or I'm gonna die Copy that. so they're a little smarter let's go chaff again I'm out of LRN yeah the hunter's kind of useless but that's all we got right now. All right, it's interesting. Yep. Um, let's just straight up shoot this guy. He's got long fires in the arms, eh? Nice. Got past the armor. Did you? Did you get past the armor? Oh, we finally get to melee. Okay. Phoenix Hawk? It's only a charge though. So if we melee this guy, yeah we can use a physical weapon. So let's go here. Go physical weapon. It's only going to do 40. We can fire the SRM and the mining drill so it's not too bad. On it. Yeah. Let's hit him. Oh, shit. Hope they're not right on top of us. Sure as fuck sounds like it. Pretty much. Hawk Moth. Cavalry. Copter. Saladin Mark II. Of course it is. Is it just the three? Somebody else lurking back there, probably. This is their AC-20 carrier. Alright. Uh, Commander? Fair enough. Um, Heading out. All right, so we got garbage. Garbage. Oh, here's the other guy. Hunchback, 5N, nice. Saladin. Let's switch to incendiary. A little better damage. Fire the chaff still. And here it comes. Alright, large laser hit. Not a lot else. Don't know if the chaff hit though. Receiving you. We are gonna be out of ammo very shortly. I think we stay on this guy then. Let's go with this. So at least to be sitting in fire, take a bit of burn damage. Blocking in all weapon systems. We uh, can't yeah, land that every it. time. All right, let's get away from the copters. The Phoenix Hawk will Roger. move past us. Because it's part of the uh, lance that's trying to get away. So let's fuck up his heat sensing here, or his heat uh, ability, or ability to sink heat here. Confirm. Okay. That'll keep him a little slower. Good to go. That's tricky! And we can't. I bet you I can from here though. Nope. It's only a charge attack, huh? Charge is what? 63% chance to hit and 169 damage. Come on! I know if I miss I'm unstable. I totally get that, but still. Alright, fire on this guy. Come on buddy, bail out. Bail out. Bail out. That hits You're wide open CT, buddy. Bail out. No, he's gonna try and run away. I gotta get past everybody. Oh, he dropped his heat. What do you need? Hi, Trout. Um, I need you to kill that AC-20 carrier is what I need. I'm not exposed to the other AC-20s. That's not gonna happen. So if that's not going to happen... Uh, 
Not bad in the fire bee. This guy's gonna he's walking right into a tr to to a death trap anyway. Let's just move this. We get our stability back. Ah like that. Copy that. Go after the fire bee. Might as well get started on it. We know this is part of the convoy, so we might as well take it on. Gonna go with everything. Confirmed. Ooh, head hit, nice. So this Hetzer is what? AC-20. Yeah? Because of course it is! Although I do want to know Let's what... Move. these copters have got. Light gas rifle, so 50 damage. That's a kill shot if I go after him. LRM-10 or SRM-2. So if I just shoot this guy... Just gotta plink his front. I have a lot of chance to hit though. Let's wait till after he moves. Let's just go on this guy. Uh, I'm gonna dial the rotary down for now so we don't get a jam on the next shot and the next shot's gonna be full out so let's just Attacking go on this guy. We still got the large laser and stuff so... Bail. That taste? I don't think they will, Bell. Well they might, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I can't remember if any convoy unit is bailed out. I guess they do. But I don't remember any specific instances, so maybe they don't. I don't know. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, I know. You need to get the hell out of there. What's up, boss? We gotta murder this head, sir. No idea what the chance to hit is. 33, huh? We're sneaking. Hey, Mr. Galleon, what are you doing over there? Sneaking. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. Standing by. Best way to use a mech like that. Or a vehicle like that, that is. Moving out. All right, Cyclones are out here. Let's get this guy down. Not the best chance to hit. Um, we do have incendiaries. Probably do more damage to the internals if we do it this way. How you like Score to critical hit. He should still have enough speed to run past me. Which is kind of what I'm hoping that's what he does. No! <laughs> Fuck off. Hunter's going to get the Phoenix Hawk. Before it goes down. I'm kind of glad though that the um, a lot of their long range boys or people who have long range weapons have been going after that hunter. It's been taking some of the heat off my, my light guys in the middle of the fray here. Like if that Orion was shooting the AC and the missiles against my lighter boys, this would be a different battle. Ready for orders. Okay, your damage on the left side. Front armor present. I don't think it'll matter. Oh, you got two chevrons of evasion. It's not too bad. Uh, incendiary. Firing full complement on it. Come on, just bail out. Solid connection on that one. Not gonna bail out. It's got balls of steel. I could still make it, even though the mech's not brand new. Receiving you. All right, now what? We gotta drop heat, so we could try try for the hawk moth kill, which is probably a good idea. Let's just do that. Are you kidding me? That's not a kill, though. So, that looked like he took damage. Oh, through the fire, right. That makes sense. I was like, how's he taking damage? There's no mines over there. Oof.
Fire beast for real here. Waiting for orders. Same guy, let's just keep on this guy. Alright, we've already stripped a ton of armor off that guy. Yeah, Commander. It should be a pretty easy kill, I think, for most people. Like most of my mechs. Alright, let's get on over here. We gotta clear up this side, I think. Those vehicles aren't pushing, so I'm not pushing them. Uh, goodbye to the fire bee if we can make it. Oh, that's a lot of LRMs. Take that. How many LRMs does that guy have? Six pirate, probably eight pirate LRMs and a pirate flamer. That's an interesting loadout. You can load that with a whole wide variety of stuff. Chaff, uh, flare, Incendiary, mines. That's pretty versatile, I gotta say. Alright, medium pulse laser is an SRM6, so you are on. Copy that. As much as I want to melee, not at this point, I want to make sure we get rid of this guy. So you will do that next turn. The fire bee. <laughs> the double bounce. Enemy down. Okay, what Trout. You, um, you don't have the speed. Err. I don't trust this, uh, Orion here. That's hunchback range. Don't want that. Okay, that's still aircraft right there. Actually, can I move there? I sure as hell can. Keep our front facing towards that guy. I know we're hot, but we're going to fire on you. And drop all our heat. This should do it, probably, with the cluster. Roger. Yeah. Nice. One more for the scrap heap. Got past the armor. Commander. Alright, now, uh, LRMs with incendiary and two medium lasers. We're pretty clear up front here. Let's get some speed, but not Go into get into throttle. firing range of that Orion. And then we're going to go after this guy. I'm going to use incendiary. I want to slow him down a little bit. A um, couple medium lasers. Not enough heat. That's going to hurt. Yeah, like negligible. But at least he's standing in fire, so that helps a little bit. Yeah, that heads are some trouble. Ooh! Finally got the shot off. I'm taking internal damage. I saw that. I don't know. You got the leg hit. Alright. Commander. Could have been worse. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. Location that headser's gonna die this turn. Well, hopefully it's gonna die this turn. Alright, firing on this guy. Locked on. All weapons. Okay, um... Yep. Heavy fire support. We kill the fire bee. Or we target the Orion and hope he sh hope You know what? Fire bee's gotta go. Here's my reasoning. I was gonna melee it with the swordsman next turn, but then that puts the swordsman in position for these two guys. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep the swordsman back. Uh, do we need the rotary? Might as well put it on. Let's get the kill. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. We're not going anywhere. We got shit to do and people to kill. People to do and shit to kill. You know what I'm saying. Same thing. Taking ass and kicking names. You just keep shooting on that guy. You think you're tough. You're not going to be tough next turn, though. Commander. <laughs> uh, I do so enjoy this when it happens. Uh, it's only 33. Gua 
Oh, he's got an HVAC 20. <gasps> 107 at the back. Let's try it. Could be different, though. We'll see. Chances when we get there. Yep, way different. Don't know if that's going to be enough, but we are going to take the shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Ah, uh, we killed the HVAC. I'm out of short range missiles. But he had to go. So this is the UAC version. UAC what? Twos, probably? Good to go. That would be a nice grab. Grab a bunch of ultra auto cannon twos. Copy that. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. And we're going to put some. Follow the leader? No. It's either they all hit or they don't. Let's put some heat on this guy. That was a pretty widespread. Standing by. You know your target right here. On it. Oh, that's terrible. Ah, a little bit of damage. Hopefully, one of our lighter mechs, like one of the cyclones, can finish it off. I don't want to expend one of the heaviers. If we don't have to. What do you need? We need to shut this guy the fuck up. That's what we need to do. So let's start on that. Understood. Moving fast. Thank you. Can we get on him, please, for Christ's sake? Let's go with Slug. Hope we hit. And yep. There we go. Beautiful. It's a start. Yep. I'd love to get some Orion parts off this guy. Uh, that's a weak chance. Do we not get a, a solid red line here anywhere? Probably not. What if we sprint up here? We can get a solid blue line from up here if we sprint. What about in this part? No. Let's go here. Let's wind that rack up. We can get some instability and knock this guy down this turn. Even better. Now he didn't take... Oh, he did take a little bit of stability damage. Um, so LRMs are slightly better. Tags on. We're going to heat up, but I'm okay with that. And... Yeah. Aye, aye. I don't think we're going to knock him down this turn, but... Get the swordsman within range. Hopefully we can melee him and knock him down. I mean, I guess I could try a charge against him if we're safe. I don't want to try the charge. Like, we could have tried, tried the charge a little while ago, but it puts the mech in a position where it can easily be knocked down and wiped out. Losing armor. Waiting for orders. I'm finding, like... If I'm when I'm trying to do melee and like offline melee playthroughs, because it's not in my mindset, I'm just finding it difficult to like manage it because you take so much damage from um, getting in close because all of the mechs, all of the vehicles, everything opens up everything on you. The vehicles will will come around behind you and attack you from behind. Like, I've taken tremendous amount of damage, like, back damage from vehicles. You know, it's just brutal. Like, some of the damage is brutal. So you have to be, like, you definitely have to be fully armored, full back armor if you're going to go melee. At least that's what I'm finding. Could be wrong, but that's what I'm finding. Well, that ended up being a lot faster than I thought. He had incendiary. Waiting for orders. Now you got nothing to do. Um, let's position over here and brace. Get ready. Standing by. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking in the free worlds league. Take a shot at this guy. Um, I don't think it really matters. 
sure. All weapons are go. You'll take some damage from sitting in fire, so if it's actually gonna land, land no fire. Reporting negative damage. Ah well. Okay, so yeah, he does have ultra two, a pair of ultra twos, a pair of SRM fours, and two machine guns. Good to go. I think I would rather have two regular, or sorry, Double four time. regular Let's AC twos rather than two ultra twos, because then you're not going to jam, right? Then you can take advantage of precision ammo. Uh, orders. Um. Um, it's not a word, as my mom would say. Let's get into here. Location confirmed. Now, I know we're on fire, so... 54. 77. You got some okay armor, but we might be able to get through the side, so let's go with everything. Got it. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Down. Destroying the eyes. If you guys can get a copter that's got really great. Oh, that was a leg hit. Got bad. We got bad leg damage. So, if you guys can get a, an air unit with uh, really great evasion, yes, ECM, and um, the ability to like have a searchlight or something along that line. Okay, what do you got here? To keep the fog of war around it. Um. Wow, that's all we got left, huh? <laughs> this thing's got no ammo. Uh, to keep the fog of war around it open, it's great for scouting with. I'm black on 82 ammo. That's all right. That's all right. Battle's almost over. Yeah. Don't have the speed to get on that guy. Let's move up, though. Let's move up. Take this guy on as we're moving up. C3 scan affected on the other guy firing. Starting the bulldog. Like, if we can get that bulldog, I won't turn it down. That's pretty, pretty darn good. Ooh. Um. God, I just feel... That hunchback is going to be like on me. He goes on 14. Do we have anybody else that can help out? <sighs> really, no. It's really either you get him or you, or you don't. I don't think we got. How much armor does it have left? 28 plus 30 internal. Chance to hit is 64, so we're landing, let's say, four pulse laser shots at nine per. They have to all hit the same location. That's 36. And then even if, if even if all the missiles hit, it's still only 24. So it's 60 damage in one location. So we could do it. We could just get it. But let's not um, let's not say we did. Holding for tactical advantage. Uh, I don't know if that's a good move or not, but that eight. This guy's in like the perfect spot to, for us not to get him. Waiting for orders. Affirmative. Okay, who's up? Waiting Trike. for orders. Uh, you definitely. Okay, so your right side is the better of the two. If they take your leg, that's fine. Let's get behind these other mechs. Position confirmed. I don't mean I don't want them to take the leg, but if they do, I'm okay with it. Better chance to hit or a little more damage. Let's go with the more damage, I think. Here are large. Hits. Chaff is on. It helps out. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Let's not go where we're unstable. Got it. Let's get over here. Now the chance no. We go with slug or we go the better chance to hit to do more damage. I think we would the better chance to hit because it might chase him away. 
Oh, that could do it. Nope, apparently not. What do you need? That'll do it, though. Heading out. I was worried we weren't going to get that guy, but this should do it. Um. Yeah, let's not mess around. If I jam, I'm okay with that. He's got to go. We can't get two AC-20s on our guys up here. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Excellent. Standing by. Affirmative. Okay, cyclone in the vehicle. And switching. No, let's leave it here. Marginally better chance to hit. Roger that. He's standing in fire anyway, so. Receiving you. I think the heat's off you now. Kind of shocked we didn't lose this vehicle. Of course, this battle's not over yet, so could still do it. Let's go with incendiary. Got it. Okay, 14. So he probably goes now. Alright, at least we got our good leg on his side. It's a lot of instability for those AC2s. Orders. Okay, can you run this guy down? Going full throttle. Gotta get both my cyclones on this guy. They should be able to take care of him, I think. How's he doing for armor? Ah, he's still pretty damn chunky. All weapons are to go. So these guys probably won't be able to do it. Not efficiently anyway, we'll have to get everybody on it this turn. He's in a bad spot for that now though. Orders. Um Well, Saladin's got no armor. All we got left is airburst anyway. So 3.6, 22. 25. That's the choice. Wow. I got two more turns of firing with the mortars. It might have enough to kill that Saladin. Standing by. That's tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. Let's get up here and take a shot at this vehicle, Tricky. Move order received. I do want to go after that hunchback with melee. So we'll see what we get. I think we're not in a great spot, but we'll see. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty accurate, pretty accurate with those pulses. Yes, Commander. Alright, you're my Spaniel. Get on this guy. Keep the good chance to hit. Affirmative. Pile that damage on. Slowly blowing through that one side here. And of course, he's going to turn it away. Oh, he doesn't. Okay. I was going to say, now he's turning it completely away from us, but he's not. That shot went internal. That's all right. Just don't freaking bail out. There's no reason to bail out. You bail out, I dock your salary. On my way. I don't have the, I don't have the ability to replace all your the head components. Don't need the chaff. We'll use the incendiaries though. Uh, give me some orange. Go through the one side. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You are going to help out with this uh, hunchback in a second, but Roger. let's get full speed up here. Yeah, I'm really glad I changed out that LBX-20 to the LBX-10. Because now for these long matches, we've got the ability to actually do stuff. Copy that. Nice. Move her down. I was gonna say got past the armor, but we'd already done that, so. Yep. Full speed sounds good. Even though it's only three squares. Uh-huh. Did I tell you guys the story about the squares? I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, Commander. So we used to have I'll tell again, because I feel like telling the story. We used to have battle mats from where when we were playing D and D as kids. And the first battle mat we ever had had squares, not hexes. And 
the squares, obviously, if you look at, there's eight sides to a square, right? There's the four sides and then the four corners, so you can move it in any direction. Ready now, mathematically, it's not correct distance to be moving um, based on that. Let's get you into here. Let's move. Right? Because if you go corner to corner, the distance is farther than going side to side, right? If you take the uh, sides of a triangle and you apply it to that, right, going corner, like going in a diagonal for 10 hexes is moving farther than moving 10 hexes to the side. You still end up on the same row, but the distance, like triangular distance, is a squared plus b squared plus c squared. You're on the c squared. Or sorry, a plus a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You're on the c squared line, which is more than the a squared plus b squared line. So, or either the a squared or b squared lines, if that makes sense. Um, on the move. So yeah, it's a greater distance, but people used to, like, that's what they would say. But for movement and combat, it doesn't really make that much difference because you're not really looking at total distance moved. You're looking at number of squares moved and how many Amount squares you're away from the enemy. And if you look at it in, in regard to hexes, it's almost exactly the same. All right, let's get you. Got two more turns of fire. I want you to kill this guy. So anyway, I, I prefer saying squares. Like I prefer playing on squares. Because it just, yeah. I don't know, it just seems better to me. Five N has got the AC-20. AC-20 animal is in the left torso. We don't know when he's going yet either. Let's just get him. Let's get him. He's barely moving over here, so yeah, okay. We're gonna switch to uh, slug and fire. Ah, shit, we missed. Uh, he's going now. Shit. Somebody's taking an AC-20 shot. Oh, you're not. What? Yeah, Commander. Is that all about? Are Head you just out. waiting for? I don't know what the hell that was all about. Maybe he didn't like being shot at? Yes, Commander. That's a gimme. I feel guilty taking mechs Roger like that. Because he should fully, totally get an AC-20 shot out. Now he's just going to die. Awaiting orders. Now he's just going to... Ooh, excuse me, die. What the hell? Got the angle. Taking the yeah, shot. see, like, this guy's got no back armor. Hunchbacks, man, if you're gonna pack an AC-20, put some damn back armor on. Stabilizing and bracing. That's tricky. I did want to melee this guy, but if he's giving us his back, we'll take it. We'll take it. Bail out. Yeah, he doesn't want to bail out. What do you need? Can I get over there? I can for next turn. Got Makes it. me wish no I didn't have streaks, but running. that's fine. That's fine. Wait, can we switch? No, we can't. It's not. A, it's not a true ATM. I can't switch from streak to uh, indirect mode. Uh, what do we have left for ammo? Follow the leader. Dead fire. Okay, don't move. Either they're all gonna hit it or not. Yep. That's a miss. Well, looter's great if you got great chances to hit. Because if the first one hits, they all hit. Okay, last shots. Come on. Yes. Oh, we had ultra auto, ultra auto cannon. There's a lot of AC-20s in this fight. Holy moly. Oh yeah, don't block anybody else's chance. Let's get over here. We can all shoot at this guy. Block people from shooting? That's just like kill stealing. Oh, you missed with the AC. Just 
a matter of time now. So they had what? Ultra autocannon, pair of autocannons on the carrier, one autocannon 20 on this guy. Is that it? Oh, they had the HVAC 20 on the, uh, the Hetzer. Standing by. That's a pretty brutal loadout. For a, well, for a three skull mission, it's not that bad. They only got one AC-20 shot off this whole fight. It would have been different if they were able to, like, unload more on us. This guy's dead now. Yeah. You ain't coming back from that, buddy. Alright, let's get home. Mission successful. Wonder how an all melee lance would have fared there. Probably not too bad. You just wait for the, um... The, the convoy mechs to make their way along, then murder them, and then just choose your targets wisely, right? I mean, you still need to have something to fire weapon-wise, because when you get aircraft, you got to be able to shoot at them. Okay, Bulldog. Oh, we need five pieces too, right? So that's the, that's the trick with this playthrough. We need more pieces. Although, I wish I could take this and then dismantle the Hetzer and take the HVAC-20 out of it. Oh, there's like four Orion pieces, though. Gonna grab four. Oh, there's the HVAC 20. Holy shit. See, now. Now, what do we do, right? Let's throw that in there. LBX 10, light Gauss rifle. Um, Narc launcher, we already have, but no ammo. Ultra 2 ammo, Ultra 20 ammo. Is there HVAC ammo down here? Wait, those are Ultra 20s. Man, you're, you're killing me here. I don't have the ability to use this yet, but... <sighs> please be stacked. The ammo be stacked, please. I could deal with taking three Orion pieces if we had stacked ammo down here. Come on. Stacked ammo. Eight, no, it's all singles. How many rounds? Four. Four rounds. Really? Really? What's the weight? 14 tons, so it's like a regular AC-20. There's a tactic support B there too. It's either th either I take this and the four tons of ammo. Well, I only need like three tons, 12 shots. Two tons is a little underweight for me. Because I am pulling out just a little over 10 turns, I think, with a lot of the fights. Recoil of three, range 600 meters. 16% chance of misfiring though. Do I delete the... Oh man, really? Really? I mean, we could just take one ton of ammo. There's the Hydra, Ultra 20 caseless. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of caseless ammo. You get more shots per bin, but increased heat and jam chance. Last thing you want is your, your auto cannons to be jamming. It's like, okay, you can fire more, but you can't fire because your weapon's jammed. <laughs> You're better off just balancing out. Um... As much as I want the Orion, I'm wondering if it's better just to take the HVAC 20 and the ammo. Because how often are we going to see it? You're, I'm, more, uh, I'm more likely to see an Orion. I, I don't think I've gotten an Orion part. It's been a while since I've gone through this playthrough again. But I think that's the way we go. And then when we load it up, we put three tons in, or two tons in, and we have these as backups. Well, what do we put it on? I don't know, but that's... I mean, at least we've got it in the bay. Because we don't... I don't really see this that often. So, it's like... I think it's like the Hetzer that has it. Like, I think it... And a Nidhogg that has it. That's all I've seen with the HVAC 20. I haven't seen any other mechs or vehicles with it. So, let's go... I think that's probably the better play. Okay, Fire B, Fire Starter. Hunchback. we got two Orion parts. Okay, that's not bad. Regular AC-20. Narc launcher, which we've already got one of, but we'll hang on to it. Basic cockpit. Got five, so we can sell that. The 140 core. 
don't have, so we'll hang on to it. Missile range, yeah, ferrofibrous, we got one, we'll hang on to it. AC-20 ammo, definitely keep. And LRM dead fire, so... Uh, mediocre at best, I guess. I'm happy about the two Orion pieces, though. Yeah, you know, I feel really good about moving the rack onto that Thunderbolt. It's become a really good weapons platform. But I think if we can get... I'm just thinking of what, what, how we could implement that HVAC. Um, let's just repair this guy real quick. Yeah, we barely took any damage in that. We, I mean, I, so many AC-20s and like they never fired. We got one shot on us. It could have been disastrous. They'd have tore through one of these guys for sure. Um, but I was just thinking, we, if we can get more hunchback pieces, we can put together a hunchback. So we've got 5N, two of them, and a 1G. So all I need is two more parts. And this is the Hellhound that I grabbed. We got four crab parts though. That's kind of nice. Might be able to put together a crab. Giant enemy crab. We can put together an urban mac. Oh boy. But who can't? Who can't? So vehicle wise, like we got nothing that we can put together here. We got a lot of parts and stuff, but nothing. Oh man, we oh well, this is what we just got. We did have the oh man. See. It pays to write down on a piece of paper the mech parts you have of the mechs you want to assemble. And I don't do that. <laughs> so it means we got to encounter another Orion. But I'm okay with that. We're, we're darn close. We just need one piece. Yeah, we would have had an Orion if I had just dropped one of the HVAC ammo and kept an Orion piece. But then we were never guaranteed to get two more pieces in the roll. We might have only gotten one. So yeah. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.